talking to the cloud. You hear the lady? <laughs> Recording in progress. Okay. Um, yes. Yeah, so what I would like to is to tell you a little, you know, this is great. And uh, in a way, the idea is to consolidate at least a group of people, you know, to have an ongoing think tank. You know, I think that more than a workshop, we will we will be workshop workshopping some ideas, and I will send you some stuff to do, and it will be very easy, etc. But it's it's important that we also keep uh, in mind that this field is changing at such a rapid speed as we speak. You know, it's changing so so fast, which is part of the fascination, at least that I the challenge. You know, that I feel really really good about that and uh, but at the same time is really we need to learn or to deal with that position that we will be we will be experimenting <laughs> probably with certain platforms that um, will change <laughs> you know will be changing we will uh, we will have to deal with that and also with a technology that is very um um in the beginning stages. Uh, so there will be a lot of things that um, would, uh, that they're not connected yet, that they're kind of very incipient, you know, it's like very, very, the very beginning. So some people even compare it, you know, that is kind of with the beginning of when people were sending emails, you know, it's like, okay. And, and people were like, yeah, there is someone who's sending something that is called emails. Okay, so, and also because also we are doing this uh, as a lab and, and we have a limited amount of time, you know, we will, uh, we have probably one more hour right now, a little bit less than an hour. So what I really would like is to introduce you, to introduce you a little bit to the history, to kind of encapsulate it, hopefully quickly. And, um, and then to present some concepts and then have some time to do a practice that I would like to each, you know, all of us at least click some buttons and try to get your wallet, you know, look what is a, a crypto wallet that is going to be running in this protocol or in this blockchain that is called NIR, okay? So that's uh, something really important. The other thing that is really important is that within the concepts that you uh, um, are you have been, even in your story, I can actually see certain notions like labor, trabajo, what is, the other is value, you know, what is the value of the things that we do? The other intersection is there is, um, how that is related with our aspirations, you know, our ideas of being an artist, that is literally the factual aspect of being in an economic system, you know? And then of course, we, the main complexity that we will be de dealing with is that we are literally appropriating a tool of the most advanced capitalism, <laughs> all right? So, and we, we are working then in, we're entering in the fire of, that is not only talking about it, right? So, and that's what I really would like to go. That is not only talking, theorizing is necessary. It's true, I love it. And, but then we will see how the embodiment of what we, of this aspect is, what is the impact? of how can we think about this in a way that has a uh, straightforward application of the things that I, and the things that I do. The other thing is that we will fail. <laughs> we will fail probably many times, but at the same time, we need to be open for the things that are having probably a pretty straightforward impact. We may be dealing with uh, the romantic idea of the artist, you know, something, the romantic idea of the artist is like the artist needs to be, you know, connected with what he wants to do. And then probably it needs to be poor because he's doing what he wants. You know, that is everything that we think about art is, is just an idea, all right, in this proposition. So then uh, that's what I really uh, invite you uh, kind of to broaden 
broaden the idea of practice to something that can be it's like, oh, how does it feel to, to have, give a gift? How does it feel to receive a gift? How to receive to, how, how do I feel right now in this moment? You know, it's also very important that, if, you know, in this body. Yeah, so, uh, and then of course, if you have any question, we are a small enough group that you can just uh, open your mic and say, hey, <laughs> all right? So, and I will try to, you know, go through the content, okay? Any questions so far? All is good, very good. All right, so um, if Mariana, you're still there? <laughs> okay, I hope that she is. And uh, uh, yes, 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 okay, she answered. <laughs> Great, all right, so uh, I will share my screen and uh, I'm gonna play, I'm gonna just hopefully just share this browser here. Can you see it? Yes. Can you see the browser? Okay. But this, I'm gonna just gonna play this video that is uh, a kind of a trailer of DanceTech and, and DanceTech.net. I created this network in 2009. And as you see, is what is called a web 2.0 social network. I am the creator of DanceTech. There, there is another in Spanish or Portuguese that we will be actually also, um, you know, like I will be, we will be teaching or we will be sharing this knowledge in Spanish in, in January by the University of Buenos Aires. So, you know, that's going to happen. But Movimiento.org is another network that I inherited because it was created by the South American Network of Dance. This is very important. It's history. They didn't have money to keep funding it. All right. Many projects, that happens. We start a project. You put it out there and then they say, oh shit, you know, we don't have the money. So then boom, the website is down. So what happened is like they, I got an email from Natasha Melo, this incredible woman from Uruguay. And she's like, Marlon, we're going to shut down the Movimiento. Do you want, do you want it? <laughs> and I inherited the Movimiento.org. So now I open, I own, and I say I, because, in purpose, I own, two networks that have an impact of 13,000 people all over the world, meaning that I can send a blast, let's say like that. But I am the one who's paying the bills, <laughs> okay? So um, one of the things that I've been, of course, uh, been very interested is how we, and I'm gonna tell you directly, the idea is how to combine crypto economy with cooperativism. So the idea is that we can create at least to have this fucking amazing two networks, one huge in, in dance tech in Spanish, in English, and uh, the other that is like for anything, whatever you want in, in Portuguese and in Spanish, but we will own it, not me, not Marlon, okay? So then the main thing that I'm trying to do is to invite you to this process in which intuitively I feel that a crypto economic design with cooperative design is a very important uh, solution, proposition to for governance and at the same time, uh, uh, how to create and design. So this is actually the proposition design an economic framework. However, you take everything from this knowledge, it's up to you. You know, your members, so there will be many nodes in the network that you can say, okay, so uh, I'm going to start designing my own currency. I'm going to uh, start applying this thing that we're thinking about in another context. So the main idea is like in these four sessions, we will explore what I call the ax some axis of uh, or what in, in the lingo of the the crypto world is said the, the ecosystem <laughs> you know the aspects of the ecosystem all these things that literally are really cool financial tools and financial thinking behind it right 
So, and then uh, I'm going to play this video just to, because it's fun to see a little bit of, I, I created, there are probably more than 400 interviews that was part of this madness of going around the world, doing interviews and trying to sustain also my work, right? So, but what I think is important about this is that in, in all the work that we are going to do, dance tech is going to be the sandbox. It's not that you're working for dance tech. It's like, we will all be thinking, how can we make in, if you want, this is the invitation, this project sustainable, all right? And then we can take all this knowledge to do any other kind of node that can engage in this kind of process and we can overlap in our interests. Okay, is how does it sound? More or less clear? Yeah. It's amazing, I like it. Cool. Yes, yes. so then, cool. then, <laughs> so then, you know, the main thing is that at any moment, you know, I can go back to, oh my God, we need to, this please stop me i'm used to do things by myself for a long time so then even the first thing that i did about when are we going to record is part of how, how we are going to do the decision process right one of the things that i like to comment to you is that <clears throat> the there was a theorist i don't remember it there is a, a very cool podcast in the united states that is called planet money and then they say that one of the things that one of the guest economists said is like the main unit of an economy, the main unit, like for physics is the atom, the main unit of an economy is a decision. Una decision, it's a decision, it's not money, all right? So that means that we, put this the idea of money that is the dollar or just kind of in the back burner. And then we're gonna start thinking that actually the main unit of economic thinking is actually an economic behavior is our decisions. It's literally a choice. It's like, I will do this or I do that. And within that, I will add is perhaps the fundamental aspect of being human that is care, some kind of social care, our idea of, oh, what this matters, okay? So I'm gonna play this video because I cared a lot about, oh, I didn't, can you hear the sound? No? Can you hear the sound? Yes. No, okay. No, so, uh, no. Oh, the video, let me, I just gonna stop oh, sharing video? because no. I didn't, yeah, I just gonna uh, do the sharing the sound, I forgot that. Yeah, oh, and then I think, I think you were sharing a different screen because we were looking at your Slack. Um, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, we weren't looking at. Oh, there you go. That's it. Okay. That's it. Okay. Yes. <laughs> uh, very, very interesting. William Forsythe. You know, there are a lot of. This. Automatics, the grid. nature, and so what they do. One of my Eduardo Pack. Actually, 
we bring the possibilities of not only exchange content, so we can then exchange value, and then the main question for us is how value emerges. This is Pera Faura in a festival in Spain. And in a way, I just connecting also with what um, Jen and all of you, I think I have felt is what then is the value of art, right? So that's something that I think is really important because sometimes in an economic system that we live, we think that there is something that actually we feel in our flesh and our life that is there are this weird disparities of the things that we value and a relationship what is valued by the system. And we feel it because the money was created by the system. So those are notions that we are going to be dealing with what is called fiat money and cryptocurrencies and all, all that stuff. So, and then, you know, I'm going to play you this, it started this video. Simple. It belongs to a network called Celo, that one of the main uh, the offices is in C Labs in Berlin. But I really like the, it really had a big impact for me in how, in a, creating a question. And I really would like the, this question to stay with us. A token, a symbol of hard work, of skills for trust between people. Money was meant to be exchanged for things created and services provided. It takes many forms, both plain and shiny, honoring leaders of the past and those leading us into the future. Somewhere we lost our way. People wage wars over it, big and small, concerned more with growing interest on $244 trillion in debt than growing communities. And many people are left out, 1.7 billion invisible, left behind and underserved. But what if money were more accessible to everyone? A universal symbol for essential needs, for empowerment and connection. People communities, entire countries prospering. What if money were all of this? What if money were beautiful? Okay, so that question resonated a lot for me. It was, what if money were beautiful? Okay, so, and then the questions that probably derived was, what if money was, so I started asking, so how do we feel that things are beautiful, right? So then at least for me, I started to think about ethics. It's just like, what is good? You know, what feels good? And then that's what I came up with certain connection with care. So I really want you to, for in one minute, in un minuto, just write in a little paper, right? Or in your, just write it in the paper right now and keep it because we're gonna use it uh, uh, for some notes. What are the, what is important for you? Just make a list. What if money, what if I could program money, all right? If I, what would I want money to do, all right? So what would this money I wanted, what would I want this money to do? You know, just uh, make a list, you know, even can be keywords. It doesn't have to be complete phrases, okay? You can write it down. And you have one minute. I'm gonna change my screen here. <clears throat>
uh, 15 seconds. Okay, so now if you can just come open your mic and you can actually just say those words and say those thoughts. Okay, for me, the morning is a, a de agreement, is a an acuerdo, is a mm -hmm. technology, very old technology, and is a communication, is a tool mm -hmm. of communication. Mm -hmm. Okay. ¿Y qué, qué le podrías añadir que sería lo ideal? ¿Qué te gustaría a ti que hiciera que cambiara el mundo? Algo así como lo, la parte utópica. What would you like that it would be very good for people? Okay. Oh. What would you add? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Someone else? Well, I... I... For me, money is, is um, valor de cambio. I don't mm -hmm. know how to say it in English. Uh, yeah, it's just, yeah, the exchange of value, the value exchange. Yeah, uh -huh. is, but um, original was it. Now it's, uh, yeah. and, uh, and it's not anymore. Question, <laughs> yeah, oh. yeah, like I, I really would like the question to probably didn't formulate it well. What would you like money to do? Yes, for and and that's the reason. I, now I think the for me the two more important or, or three more important things is to give people um, uh, freedom, to give people time. I mean, first of everything is to give people the basic things to eat, health um and well the basic things to 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 can have fry uh a freedom to can uh have peace to can uh have time <laughs> and culture <laughs> i think okay, it's uh, come uh later but now i think culture and arts is what's said uh really this as a Please give people what people need, or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> yep. Yes, it is. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm kind of similar there. the The thing is, I now listening to you, you're right. I put that at last, but uh, but uh, well, I mean, the first thing is, I would like money to educate people. That will yeah. be the first thing. But then yeah. really the last thing I put is like, I would like money to help the people that don't have any money, which is kind of mm -hmm. what Mariana mm -hmm. is saying, right? Uh, I, will, mm -hmm. I mean, money should should actually provide yeah. the least things to yeah. survive and to mm -hmm. exist, but then educate. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. the, the third thing is to, again with Mariana, um, to, you know, to produce cultural things to produce yeah. shows for that are accessible to everybody That's, mm -hmm. those were my three things great great next <laughs> yeah um i have many thoughts about what you were talking before i mean i was yeah. thinking many things of course um because all the things that you were talking about, I've been thinking and, and actually working a lot on, on this uh, embodiment and the affects, uh, I'm working a lot on that. But apart from that, I mean, there is all these questions about what is an artist, what is the, 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 the meaning, and also, mm -hmm. you know, who is really an artist and who is mm -hmm. the audience yeah. and who wants to be, uh, you know, what is beauty? I mean, yeah. there is all these big, big, big 
stuff that we could be here the whole day talking about. Yeah. Yeah. But the main thing I am actually discovering and it's been happening, I think, from last year until now, mm -hmm. is a very important word for me. At least, at least I think it's a word that I discovered in a, in a training and doing is the word goodness, mm -hmm. the basic goodness. And mm -hmm. I think it has to do with what you were saying about the, the, mm -hmm. the, what, how we feel in our guts mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and how we feel about the other and how we feel about everything. So yeah. I think the word goodness is a, is, a, is a very, I don't know, uh, of course, because my, my mother language is not English. Tú sabes, en español, una palabra como goodness that doesn't mm -hmm. exist in Spanish. I don't think. Yeah. Yeah. So in English is a very, I feel like it's really like yummy, you know, like goodness. Mm -hmm. That for me would be money. And if you talk it, if you call it money, because mm -hmm. I agree with Victor and that was my other thing, mm -hmm. that it shouldn't, I mean, then the mm -hmm. word money, um, mm -hmm. I don't know where it comes from, but of course it's a, it's a, it's a yeah. abstraction. Anyway, mm -hmm. that would be my word, goodness as a main yeah. thing that I would like the money, if you call it money, because I, I would mm -hmm. love to call it other way, otherwise. Yeah. Equality, grow, happiness. Yeah. I mean. Great. Um, beauty. Yeah. Yeah. Good. So in a way we are connecting no, I know that Jean John X that in a word we are trying to connect a very deep affect that he feels when something is good, when something is beautiful, when something is yeah, it's not harmful, right? And you know, all the values, a lot of values that we hand manage it with a, a tool, right? That we've been using for a long time, that is money. So the main question for us is it money? Is it the economic system designable? Okay. Can we design, a, a, we may design many, many things. It's not just a word. Uh, it, it is an economic, it's a system that can be designed. So, and that is probably the potential that, that we are putting there. And what we design can be then making us see the beauty or, or, or or feel that affect that feels like goodness, okay? So, so then it's not, they're not separate, but it's not just a feeling. It's like, it's the connection with that sense of embodiment with a system, all right? That we are embedded in, okay, cool. Jen? No, <clears throat> so I, I, I had some problem and I, so I missed Victor and a bit of uh, Mariana. Uh, <laughs> conversation it's, so, it's recorded <laughs> uh, yes okay so i will check so so um so what i would do uh, 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 with money and um i realized that so i, I answered in, in twice so one to respond to you know like ma to people material needs and then i thought okay that can be done even without money mm -hmm. so that's why i, I, I was thinking that mm -hmm. just by trying to answer we have such a strong uh, understanding of what money is that it influences the answer. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And then I was thinking, you know, like coming for my own thing, like oh, to help me build a project. And then I was as a group, yes, to help, you know, to co collaborate for sure. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. for sure. And th that's for sure, like the, like the interaction uh, mm -hmm. um, that... Uh, Makes sense. So yes, that's mm -hmm. something I, I think that uh, it um, you 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 need something like a money to do it. Yes, yeah, beautiful. Yeah, and um, and that takes me. To, it's a really nice segue to the root of the war economy. Is called is oikos, right? Is the same root of the word ecology. Uh, and is literally the what it means. Do you know what it means? Home. <laughs> okay. So oikos means home. So the main question is: can we design home? All right? In relationship to all the toolings, the tools that 
we have in relationship to exchange uh, what we need. Because then in this case, what we understand as a currency or as money is literally a tool that avoids a problem. For example, I can have something that is really a lot of value for me and, and then Jan or any of you have something that is of a lot of value, but I may not be interested in that. <laughs> so we cannot just barter. So then this kind of token of exchange enters in the picture historically. This is kind of a very easy um, and very simple proposition, okay? So anyway, we're gonna take all this after the session, I will remind you, and in the comment of the section that you will see that in the group, there is actually uh, the first session, it has all the videos and et cetera. So then you will put in the comments, everything that you have written, okay? That just to keep it as a, uh, as a log, <clears throat> okay? I will remind you of that. So then we will go a little bit of a theory and then, uh, or some things that I think are very important concepts. And then uh, there will be repetition for some of you. And then we will go to the practice. So um, can you see this green stuff? Yeah, okay. So then, you know, this is a presentation of the lab and this is the session one. Uh, so far, we may not get to the whole thing. So, so what is blockchain? So that we have here heard a lot of a blockchain and this is kind of this funny, uh, this is actually a GIF, it's an animation, but it's actually purchased as an NFT. So it's actually <laughs> um, owned by my friend and sometimes consultant, Lenara Verle, that she lives in, in Berlin. And then it's, you know, so she owns a digital property, right? That is this. And then, you know, that is, you may, you may have heard of that is it is an NFT or a non-fungible token. And we will see a little bit of what does it need. So a blockchain is a decentralized and hopefully immutable. So practically there is a lot of discussion about that term, but let's say that it's immutable ledger. Ledger, what is this? It's like a register. It's como una, un registro de un contador, no? It's like two line, 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 line. And that everything that enters is annotated there. But what makes it decentralized, what is it? Is that it's a network of computers that is running in real time at the same time, <laughs> doing exactly the same, running the software that actually creates uh, in as it creates the blocks that is called the blockchain that normally accumulate in certain numbers of transactions and pump and they just go like a chaining with the other that came before you know and I went to the left or the right but data doesn't have left or left or right <laughs> so it's just a flow of data okay any questions so far decentralized immutable ledger yeah all is good, all good. So then uh, this is what the ledgers used to look, <laughs> you know, uh, things like, you know, all these books that were in writing. Uh, but then for example, if we go to, this is what is called server farms or blockchain or mining farms uh, that are in China. <laughs> so it looks like that, it looks similar. In this case, it's a bunch of a stack of servers consuming enormous, amount of electricity and generating a lot of heat, okay? So energy is one asset. And this is very important, the materiality of the process. And then the mining is literally a metaphor for the actual running the software, and this is important, to compute or calculate or solve cryptographic puzzles, meaning, that's the word, you know, therefore the word crypto, crypto, cryptography. So then they'll solve it, crunching a bunch of numbers, uh, kind of uh, to say, oh, this is solved to approve certain transaction. And then that transaction, where the miner or the person who actually is running the software will get a reward of certain amount of tokens. That's kind of the, or, or, or uh, currency. That is the main model of, 
Bitcoin, all right? So then there are like different ways of, of doing this. But the main thing is that it has evolved to this written note that is a deed, but also a debt, I owe you, I owe you. So money sometimes is defined also as debt, as, as something that is owed to someone. Because literally a bill is a promise of pay. You, a bill is literally, you take it to the bank and it should be worth something. It's like they should pay you something. That is not happening in Venezuela right now because the centralized system is, has the doors closed, really, okay? So, so then that's something that is here in, in our, so, and then you see the evolution then probably this ledgers now had gone from this little paper to probably to actually having access to the blockchain through uh, mobile phones. So that's a big win. So we have decentral is decentralized. And one of the main arguments is like, I don't know if you noticed the word trust in that cell of video. It's like it is supposed, you know, to communicate trust, but the main asset that we are actually also uh, going to be designing in systems is the possibility of trusting. For the money to have worth, we need to have certain trust in certain, in this case, in an institution, in the bank that is going to be there and exchange it and to the government, et cetera. So that's what is a centralized system. So then when is it a decentralized technology like this crypto decentralized allows that uh, no government or institution can restrict your access and, and uh, or help you if, if you lose access. That's kind of the other thing that you are then totally responsible of your keys or your uh, words or passwords or you know the seed words for, it's like we, dele we don't delegate that, that responsibility. We actually can have it. We are really kind of spoiled by, by our banks, right? So then here, and if, you know, just gonna talk a little bit more about the kind of the overall vision. It's like, if you see in this graphic, there are this axis that here in the left is what you see all the, what we understand the tokens of currents or currencies, Bitcoin and is what, oh, wow, what is this? It may be something that I can invest in. It can be something that I can own and have. And then that will be a good investment, et cetera. And then in the other side is this image of what is come to be the you know, non-fungible tokens. Fungible tokens and non-fungible tokens, I'm putting them right now like in like opposite. You know, uh, do you know what is fungibility? What is what is a fungible token? Yeah. So if any of you know what is a fungible token? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, and this yeah. is a really, uh huh. Fungible is uh, the possibility that every bill is uh, the same bill. You have to, exactly. to change $1 for $1. It's the same. It's the, exactly. don't matter either. Yeah. But that, that's, that's what means fungibility. Thank you. That's, that's it. So that's, for okay. example, if you have one, $1 or a token of the same currency, what is, when it's fungible, it's like it's worth the same. But for example, how a friend of mine said, most of things in life are non-fungible. That is this extreme here. That is things that my own body, my life, my experience, uh, pictures that I make, my art, uh, yeah, practically the rest of okay. life is non-fungible. It's, it's, fun, it's non-fungible. But what happens right now is that there are two kinds of programs that have been embedded in the blockchain that can create certain uh, aspect of uniqueness because the, the non-fungible characteristic is this unique, but this, mm -hmm. the fungible is not unique. One dollar can be exchanged for another dollar. But if you have something like a piece of art in this case, it cannot be exchanged just like that. It has mm -hmm. a value due to its uniqueness mm -hmm. and scarcity, et cetera. Is that clear? Yes. Yeah. So that, 
that notion, let's say it, it, it really helps because it's fun, fun, fungibility, it's like a continuum, you know, from the thing that we really, really appreciate because of the maximum uniqueness, like this moment, you know, a moment of attention is unique. So, oh, oh boom, all right? Or uh, something that we um, earn like a diploma. So it's something that is for you <laughs> or your own identity. It's like, this is my ID, right? So there, you know, just putting some, some examples. And then there is in this example of the, in, in the side of the, uh, the fungibles is all this cryptocurrency. What, one Bitcoin is the same that another Bitcoin. There are, uh, at least if not like the, the Genesis blocks, you know, the first, Bitcoins that were used for to buy some pizzas, you know, that's kind of an old story, right? But uh, and then in the top here, it's a very important note. Uh -huh. So when, when you when you say that um, one Bitcoin is, I mean that one Bitcoin is the same mm -hmm. than another money. I mean uh -huh. that's too, that's too important. Like, is it? It's not the same. Well, but one Bitcoin is the same that another Bitcoin. Ah, uh, then another Bitcoin. Okay. Not yeah. Then, yeah. Uh, and uh, of course, you will see, is, yeah, uh, there is, you can have fungible tokens or, cur or currencies compared with another currencies. And that's, of course, the, the, the systems of yes, two, yes. you know, the comparison of two different values. But between this, they were the same. All right, yes, but I was just thinking that in fact it's the mm -hmm. same that a Bitcoin, for example, and uh, Ethereum, technologically uh -huh. it, it's the same. No. In terms of, uh, but no. it's not, no? No. No, it's, it's, it's at that we will go there and probably also, you know, uh, Alex has some more experience with the. Uh, with Monero and other, other blockchains. So what happens right now is like there was this guy or a woman or a group that was called Satoshi Nakamoto that released a paper in 2009 and that amazing origin story, all right? So then that person, we don't know who he, she, or they are. So release that totally the very clear paper and a lot of programmers have applied that technology and created the program and the software and is released actually open source. So that's how Bitcoin exists. There was another guy that is probably like six years, well, six years later, created with this guy from, is a Russian Canadian, it's called Vitalik Buterin. And then he actually created, I mean, another paper, paper Ethereum. And he made a big shift and uh, that we will actually talk about it and how the programs will work. So what it have to do with the cryptographic techniques. You know, one is proof of work and it was proof of stake. So, but that's our kind of notions that we will go. But what it means is that what we have right now is like a bunch of avenues. If you can visualize it like that, it's like the, they're different. You know, it's like this tracks of, of actually blockchains, chains of blocks of transactions that run on, running in parallel with a slightly different technology using more or less the same frame, philosophical and programming network uh, framework, right? So then that's why, you know, that is, they're separate right now, but there is a lot of work in, in what is called interoperability and yada, yada, yada. But those are kind of more technical, but the idea is they, can, we can move in between values, but you know, that's, we will, we will talk about, I will finish this. And then what I have here is in this case is Dan Steck as such, all right? And here on top is a DAO. <laughs> DAO is a very important notion and is huge, more is huger <laughs> of what we thought was gonna be. DAO means decentralized autonomous organization. And this is what the blockchain is allowing with the technology, mostly uh, with the change that is, was created by uh, Vitalik Buterin 
is that we can actually have oh, this kind of stuff here. Can you see it? Like, uh -huh. We can actually have, um, let's see, uh, something that is called smart contracts. Smart contracts is literally a piece of software that is designed you know, by designers, by programmers to have certain uh, behaviors. So a token in as a cryptocurrency is a smart contract. But what I think, what it was really innovative, and this is very important in Ethereum is that not only is gonna be to, for Bitcoin was only for transactions, uh, of uh, I'm sending you like what's called remittances. I'm gonna send you some, uh, you know, send you 0, 0.000 Bitcoin or whatever. Is that then programmers could go in the software or in the platform and program money? <laughs> okay, so then the money became programmable, programmable financial functions functions can be embedded in how the this this monies or these values are transacted okay so that's the main difference between or the main breakthrough between uh bitcoin and and ethereum are you more or less are you with me yeah so any questions so far let me see i think this is gonna to go to this one. Any question? Yeah, no. All right, so, and this, so then, you know, of course, we're gonna be dealing with this question with a what is money question, okay? So then a very important concept is, I remember when people said, when you're born, I start dealing with cryptocurrency, it's like, Marlon, but that's not real money. And then, so then it's like, is the first of people were like, that's a pyramid scheme and blah, blah, blah. So, but the main thing is that question of real money, it becomes very important for us to understand, is there something that is real money? <laughs> real money as exist, et cetera. So then uh, this notion of fiat money is very important. Fiat is how we normally had been used to understand economies that are related with governments, okay? Or nation states. Huge question, can economies be non-related with governments? So, so then, you know, we normally have put together the notion of state, government and economy together. So the main proposition that is, that is a possibility is that you can have then alternative economies that had been with us for a long time, right? That are not directly related with government. But of course this brings, it's like opens, you know, the Pandora box, okay? Any questions so far? Thoughts, ideas? Yeah? <laughs> yeah, cool. No. Okay, what so does, in this- does... Sorry, quick, quick question. What does fiat stands for? What fiat? Fiat is the, when you say fiat money will be the dollar, it will be the euro. I think oh, okay, that word comes from. Okay, it's, but it's not like an abbreviation of anything. It's just. No, no, no it's, 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 it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a in the economic lingo okay. to talk about money that is. Um, it's, it's not, it's when it's not backed by gold, like. Um, if you mm -hmm. see, like that's a, very important. Yeah. yeah, it's 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 established by government, but it doesn't mm -hmm. have any interest check value, like a piece of paper. Exactly. Yeah. The, yes. yes. We have to remember the Nixon president in seventy one uh, yeah. changed the the value, changed the policy about the. This currency are not because because before this this bill of one dollar is representing uh, gold in the bank. Uh -huh. so the government responding gold, but after the the uh, the uh, rotting the the El acuerdo de Eto goods I don't know remember yeah. what the uh, change is only in the 
the money is the money. Is is yeah. only we we trust in God. You the, yeah. you you can see in the the dollars it changed the world yeah. because before is this represent world, but yeah. but then is we trust in God. It's only is is money. Yeah. But it, 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 the 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 you have to see behind is the army of the United States that have mm -hmm. represented rep the yeah. value of the money, fiat money. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. That's thank good. you. That explained it. Thank you. Yeah. So that's a really good explanation and very good to remind us that then the, it's not only issued by the governments, but there used to be what is called the gold standard. And the gold standard was kind of a very uh, heavy and long standing way of understanding the economic value of certain currencies. It's because they were made of gold, because they were you know, made. It's, it's all, it was also equating the value for the difficulty of how to extract that mineral. You know, so then the gold was scarce, it was scarce, but at the same time, it took work to get it. Okay, so then that is a, the very interesting thing that mining also comes from there, right? But fiat money, the main thing is that we normally think that the value of money is that it's backed by the, the this government has tons of gold somewhere stored or there are this, all these dollars, it's like that is, is not the case, okay? Like literally money by the governments, by the Federal Reserve, et cetera, in the United States is created by the keystroke, boom, and then it's created from out of thin air, all right? And it, it may feel that that's a bad thing because it goes against what we think, <laughs> that it's like, oh, there's this intrinsic worth, all right? So, and that, is, I'm just gonna put that, this is, start thinking about this for this whole week and then uh, in this and this slide it's really interesting it says like a uh, fiat money is a currency issued by the government uh, boom let me see it's just going back uh -huh. by the government and um and you need banks as an intermediary that's another thing because the federal reserves normally is a centralized bank so you have here, Federal Reserve is actually, you know, that it's not a government entity in the United States. The Federal Reserve is actually a private association with a bunch of banks. And you know what? It's actually secret. Who belongs to that? This is really a, a really interesting stuff. So, um, so then, um, so the, 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 the good thing of a centralized system is like you feel, oh yeah, I can talk to them, but then you have uh, a cryptocurrencies and the transactions, it can involve two parties and directly transacting to each other. The blockchain is not a central entity that approves or not. It's a distributed system that kind of updates all at the same time. All right, so, so then we have notions to think with for this week. We have this whole new notion of the blockchain. Uh, we will have, kind of started wrapping up a little bit here, is we have only like three minutes. For me, the time is good, but the meaning that I have time, I have to go back here to... Uh, this one, this one, okay. So these uh, are videos that are in this lesson that I will be nice that you just watch, you know, that there is, this is how uh, Bitcoin works. And this is the notion of a smart contract that we went through it, all right? So they're very, this is really fun. They're really fun videos. And this one is how to create a wallet, okay? Mm -hmm. So, uh, and that's, I want you to go to, this to a link that I think is here. I have the link here, isn't it? Yeah. So open, that is just Google near wallet, near wallet. Are you cool with that? Let me just, uh, 
I just gonna Google Victor already created the wallet. Okay, so go to the near wallet, and I think Jen, you have one already that I send you. Yes, so did I you have find one. The, okay, did you find the near wallet? Um, so like so this. Uh, yeah. You, okay. Yeah. So then, if you have, I'm gonna stay here. All right. If you have time, we can do it together right now, and, and to to see if you have an issue, just go and create your near wallet okay, okay. and that near wallet you will have a to put a name like reina perdomo dot blah 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 you can put any name these are what is called non-custodial wallet it's living in the in the near protocol that is like ethereum all right but cheaper <laughs> and, and very nice people right so and this is what the big surprise i don't know if you know that it says that you will receive an incentive, all right? So when you give me your wallet a number, you will receive an airdrop of 10 near, okay? If you are good at how to, you know, you can just Google near to dollar, all right? Near is $10 each near, all right? At least nine point. Yes, yeah, so I think I have it around here. So then, you know, that's a good thing. So what I really feel that we, so just do, let's just do this, okay? So it, can you stay doing it? Yeah? Yeah, well, yeah you can yeah. switch to Spanish too. Ah, perfecto. <laughs> Ajá, entonces tienes que buscar en la Near Wallet. Sí. Entonces, y después que estén adentro, es, mm -hmm. es, se ve algo como así. Okay. Pero, Pero fíjate, háganlo con calma. Tengo que crear un account. Ajá, entonces lo que va a crear es, ah. te, van, te, te va a pedir todo lo que te pido allí, sigue las instrucciones clarito. Y anota en un papel que, que todas las palabras que te diga para el, lo que llaman el seed phrase. Ok, y eso yeah. es okay. una... Y esa seed phrase uh -huh. es crucial que tengas esa seed phrase, ah, seed phrase okay. y lo escribas muy bien y la guardes en un lugar seguro. Porque es la única garantía de que ah, yeah. tú eh, uh -huh. puedes entrar y que tú eres tu propio custodio de tu, en este, en este caso, una criptomoneda que se llama NEAR. ¿Ok? Ah, ok. Y que es real, es decir, no es, es decir, es, 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 uh, it comes from near. La relación con near es que, bueno, como estamos trabajando y esto es relevante para todos, es, ellos están haciendo, como muchas de estas blockchains, están ofreciendo bounties o ofrecen dinero en criptomonedas uh -huh. para que uno adopte la tecnología. Entonces, yo ah. lo que estoy haciendo ahorita es repartiendo entre ustedes un bounty que ellos eh, me han asignado. ¿Ok? Ah. Como un regalo. All right? It's a gift. All right? So then, you will, entonces ustedes verán qué hacen con ese regalo. Entonces, yo tengo varias proposiciones, pero la, la idea es empe, empezar con una criptomoneda, boom. Y si nosotros tenemos una economía que es la Dance Tech Economy, uh -huh. okay, ¿cómo uh -huh. la vamos a manejar? Right? Uh -huh. Entonces, el, de alguna manera, eso es lo que los, normalmente los gobiernos hacen. Te dan el dinero uh -huh. a, a través del trabajo, right? and then you get taxes. Da, da, da. Los taxes no son para financiar el gobierno, es para extraer y recircular eh, Mm. Eh, ya, yeah. <laughs> sí. Eh, entonces, pero es realmente eh, eh, propiedad de cada uno de ustedes cuando yo se los envíe. ¿Ok? Cuando se les envíe o que se hagan el airdrop. Yeah. Y yo no tengo ningún tipo de información confidencial sobre ustedes. Right? Sencillamente lo que me tienen que poner después que creen la, la, la wallet es las palabritas eh, que sería, por ejemplo, la mía se llama ¿no? unstablelandscape.near. Sí, hmm. yeah. Exacto. 
Una pregunta. Uh, para, este uh -huh. near, para este near hay un app. No, no hay you know, Yo solamente la estoy utilizando en el, en el browser. En el pero browser. yo creo okay, que tú okay. lo puedes abrir. Tú puedes abrir el browser en el teléfono. Ah, ok, yeah. pero no hay un, un tal cual un Google. Todavía no. no okay, okay, hay okay, varias okay. que están conectadas, pero esta es como la, la fundamental porque es, el, es un portal okay. directo a la blockchain. Okay. Okay, ok, ok, perfecto. Sí, yo lo estaba buscando simplemente por curiosidad, yeah. porque algunas yeah. veces en el desktop da, me da un poquito de miedo. Porque... Ya. Yeah. Sí, bueno, pero bueno entonces, pero a cuestiones de seguridad, lo primero que eh, todos ustedes eh, tienen que, les recomiendo que puedan poner eh, servicios como VPN o algún tipo de protección en sus computadoras, sería lo ideal. Ok, ok. okay. Ya tengo, creo que la dirección de mi wallet. Ajá, entonces esa dirección la vas a postear, porque entonces hay dos cosas. Una, una cosa, esta es la, la key, eh, la public key. Está enmascarada a través de una, un, un nombre legible por humanos, ¿no? Entonces, pero atrás de eso hay una clave criptográfica que solamente te pertenece oh. a ti. Entonces, yo quiero que le pongas, eh, vas al grupo, esto es para todos ustedes, van al grupo. Uh, un segundo, la... tengo que verificar el código, tengo que buscar mi teléfono, lo siento. Uh -huh. Ya, ya. Y tienen, tienen tiempo para hacerlo, no tiene que ser hoy. Entonces, en el grupo, en la primera sesión, Dice, dice que mínimo debe tener 0.1 NIAR para acabar de hacer. ¿Y qué dice allí? ¿Qué más dice? Dice SUMI a manual deposit. Me preguntó que si lo hacía, tenía que hacer un depósito con manual o con tarjeta. Lo puse manual y me dice que mínimo iniciar depósitos enviándolo 0.1 NIAR. Ya, yeah. el, el, pero hay una manera de que se te envían lo, el 0. Punto, en el video que está. ¿Cómo, cómo te fue a ti, Víctor? ¿Cómo resolviste ese problema? Bueno, no, eh, yo, a mí me salió eso mismo, pero en realidad la, el network me dio el 0.04. Ajá. El, y, y entonces o sea, pasó, yo hice lo, las, las palabritas, las, las 12 Ajá. palabritas. Y bueno, entonces yeah. me preguntó cuál es la palabrita número tal y le puse la palabrita y ah, entonces yeah. me dijo, ah, bueno, ya está abierta y me dijo, ah, bueno, ok, tienes 0.004 en tu, yeah. en, yeah. en, tu network, en tu wallet. Perfecto. Entonces, porque ellos tienen, necesitas eso, pero ellos te lo depositan. Yes. Yeah. Eh, entonces, I'm back. Ya. Yeah. Entonces, si hay alguna pregunta para es decir, si tienen alguna duda en este en el misma la misma lección aquí hay todo un video que te Hello everyone, okay, I'm Queen Shahi and welcome to my channel. Explica, Not long ago. <laughs> todo el cómo cómo hacerlo y, y cómo que cómo cliquear para eh, obtener el poder abrir la wallet. ¿Okay? Entonces, mm -hmm. después que abran la wallet, entonces okay. aquí Víctor puso, lo ven acá Catalejo Near. Uh -huh. okay. Entonces algo así Sencillamente ustedes me ponen esto Y uh -huh. entonces Se les enviará A través de eh, Las carteras Yo, no, yo, yo le envío el, el, Un equivalente el, Los NIRS Entonces yo quiero que pensemos en esto okay, Déjame ver Esta es la primera vez que yo hago Un pool Relaunch pool una pregunta. Ajá. Sí, ya, tengo, me dice Initial Deposit. Yo sé que ustedes van más adelante, pero estoy abriendo. No, no, no. Ajá. Dice? Ahí dice Manual Deposit. ¿Sura, sura ¿Qué, fue lo, ¿Qué fue lo que eh, eh, comparte la pantalla? Estoy todavía, compartir la pantalla? Estoy todavía en, el, en la cosa de, del teléfono y, y me pregunta que si un Initial Deposit, man, Manual Deposit. A mí también. Uh -huh. Menu of deposit. ¿Te comparto uh -huh. mi pantalla? Sí, déjame ver si, si te permite. Ya, dale a ver. O sea, me pregunta que, que, que si un... 
La estoy compartiendo, no sé si estoy compartiendo algo. No. No, todavía no. Dale allí. Ya, ya estás autorizada. Ok. Uh -huh. eh, ¿Ahí? Ahí viene. Uh -huh. Por ahí viene. <risa> bueno, no sé, yo le puse mi nombre, o sea. Uh -huh. Ajá. Okay. Mira, con lo que tú dices de la seguridad en Venezuela, tú sabes que eso es un rollo. Yeah. Yo, no sé, yo no sé si yo puedo, inclusive, o sea, para pagar un VPN aquí y todo ese rollo con... Yeah. No, de, después yo te explico cómo añadirle Protect Security. Tú sabes que yo no estoy yeah. usando, por lo menos no estoy con Ava, estoy usando una conexión con Movistar. De repente eso me... Ajá. Uh -huh. okay. Bueno. Pero no sé qué tengo que hacer aquí. Te pongo, sí, manual deposit, menu deposit, o, o what? ¿Qué fue lo que hiciste tú, Víctor? ¿Estás por allí? No se escucha. Sorry. Uh, <risa> perdón. Um, sí, yo lo, yo lo que hice, yo lo hice anoche, no me acuerdo, pero sí, salió manual deposit. Uh -huh. Dice continue, pero ellos mismos te depositan el dinero. Depositan. No nada. Okay. Yo, no puse, pero, yo no puse ninguna información de nada, de, que, de tarjeta de crédito. De nada. Pero ¿cómo oh, es no. el un depósito entonces? Bueno, ¿cuál, cuál? Sí, sí. Dale ah, no, ver, perdón, no. perdón, perdón, perdón. Tienes que hacer el, 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 SMS. Con, el SMS primero, sí. Eso es importante. Es la un, esa es la única certificación que ellos tienen de que tú eres tú. Pero, okay. como, pero aquí no me sale como chequear eso. One time passcode. Ya. Yeah, te van a enviar un. Te van a enviar. ¿Tú tienes tu teléfono? Sí, pero es que me, me, me dice que tengo que, que decir manual deposit to accept. Sí, a mí también me sale igual. No me, no me mandó. Puse el teléfono y puse después esa cosa de, de yeah. manual. Porque me preguntaba si lo quería con tarjeta o manual el depósito. Lo puse manual y nos parece una dirección así de la dirección pública, pues, pero encriptada. Y Ajá. aparece que esperando depósito, o sea, estaba ah, la no, fecha. Esto yo no, esto yo no lo hice. Esto, esto yo no lo tuve, no. Ajá. Ya. Yeah. Okay. Igual que se yeah. tiene ahí, Reina. Igual. Ajá, ¿qué es lo que dice? Porque no puedo leer. ¿Qué es lo que dice en la parte esta de account status? Uh, eh, en deposit. Ok. ¿Y qué, a quién más tiene este problema? Yo ya lo creo, ya tengo el Asna Racnea. <risa> uh, Ajá, entonces, bueno, coloca. No problem. <risa> ok. ¿Y cómo okay. lo hiciste tú? ¿Cómo lo hiciste tú directamente con tu teléfono? Con mi teléfono, seguí las instrucciones, me mandó al teléfono una, una uh, un código y ya, si quieres te... ¿Le están te... poniendo en el teléfono el, el código del país? Sí, sí, sí claro. Uh -huh. Ok, ya, yeah, lo que vamos SMS. a hacer es, lo que yo voy a hacer es enviarles por email unas uh -huh. cuentas creadas desde aquí, ¿ok? Porque a lo mejor es que hay ah, un bloqueo okay. con las cosas de los teléfonos. Yeah. Porque yeah. tienen que pagar extra, yeah. etcétera, eh, la yeah. gente que está en Sudamérica. Eso es posible. Uh -huh. No sé crear ah. platuero.nier, pero ya no sé si... Bueno, que... escríbeme, escríbeme allí en el, en el dance tech, ¿ok? Aquí. Yeah, el uh... nombre que tú le quieras poner... Eh, entonces, Reina también, tú me escriben aquí en el, como un comentario en, en mm. la parte de abajo del, de la sesión 1, ¿ok? El, eh, ponen los nombres ideales. Yo te mandé en el chat yo, entonces, mi nombre. Eh, yo resol... ¿Ah? Te mandé Reina, en el perdón, chat. Okay. ¿Es ok o...? No, oh, porque pon, ponlo, este, mira, mira, puedes mira. meterte a Dance Tech. Ver. Está funcionando, Marlon. A ver, aquí. Está funcionando. Es working. Ahí lo puse, mira si te sale. Ah, sí, Dos, cuatro, uno, seis. Esta es la. la... Uh -huh. Ah, ¿te llegó? Sí, Qué te bueno. llegó. Ok. Te, te sí, te llegó el comentario, lo puse en la, en la página equivocada. 
Uh -huh, very fine. Continue. But when you finish. Oh, it is fast. Okay. Vamos a ver. Si funciona, chévere. Si no, lo, yo lo puedo solucionar por acá. Porque hay una manera de crear una cuenta y yo le envío el airdrop. Yeah. Ahí, ahí estoy poniendo la, el link de donde hay que, el comentario para poner tu dirección de en Dance Perfecto. Ahí puse en el okay. chat. Entonces, exacto. Entonces, fíjate. Yay. All right. So, entonces, este... Eh, Alejandro, tú no, eh, tú no pudiste crearla. Alejandro, no. tú sabes, disculpe, un momento, tú sabes lo que hice, me fui para atrás y no seleccioné manual, manual, uh... manual depósito, sino ah, sí. con with the credit card. No, no con seleccioné Google. nada, no seleccioné Google. nada y le dije continuo. Yeah, eso hice yo también. Ah, sí, pues solo en el teléfono, entonces, ya, vale. Voy ah, a hacerlo yeah. a la Yeah, the only ID that is asking you that is yours, but it doesn't have a name match. That's what is called non-custodial. So this is not going through any governments, no banks, etc. So what do I do now, uh, Mario? ¿Qué quieres que haga ahorita? Este... Ajá, entonces, el nombre que te dio, que es el nombre de tu cuenta, es tu ID, el public ID, que es el se usa para que yo te pueda, cualquier persona te pueda enviar y al mismo tiempo se convierte como en tu llave a la web 3. Y web 3. Ah, ¿Dónde, dónde en está? la parte de arriba dice Reina Perdomo Near. ¿Dónde? La parte de la derecha. Arriba. Ah, no lo veo. Aquí tú ves mi... Mira, bueno, aquí, pues, ahí, está, ahí está, mira, Reina Perdomo. Punto near. Reina Perdomo. Top ya right, la tengo, top ya right. la tengo. Yay. <ríe> Entonces, la, anota reina, reina J, perdomo punto near yeah. en, en okay. la página, yeah. Yeah, okay. el, eh, en, okay. tu, en el comentario de esta página. Ahí okay, está en el chat, yo la puse en el chat. Ya, yeah. gracias. Este, yo, okay. no, yo creo que, bueno, sí, lo puse. ¿Y entonces qué, qué es lo que quieres que haga? ¿Quién, ¿Quién pregunta? Yo, Reina. ¿Qué quieres que haga? <risa> Disculpa. Entonces, es eh, eh, para que entonces esa información yo la quiero tener y que todos la podemos tener de las Reina J. Perdomo. Punto near. Lo escribes. Eh, tú sabes, aquí en el chat, en el chat, oh, okay. eh, hay un link, hay un enlace que Víctor puso allí. Ah, gracias. Voy a dejar de uh -huh. compartir. Ya, yeah, entonces. Perfecto. Ok. Voy. Ya, yeah, entonces. Ya. Yeah. Tú hice el comentario. Perdón. Ajá. Entonces, ahora si to cuando tengamos todos las IDs allí. Déjame ver. Entonces aquí lo borro y ahora pongo mi ID en la otra página. Está bien. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to see if uh, I... Víctor, ¿tú puedes chequear si estás ahí en esa página? Si es la página correcta. Este, bueno, está, estoy aquí en la página. Yo veo ahí mi comentario. Ahí, este, ahí va el mío. ¿Llegó? Ajá. Ajá. Déjame ver. Ya. Ya, ahí está. Aquí Yay. está, Marianza. Aquí está Asnarrak. Aquí está... María Carranza. Yeah, exacto. <laughs> okay. No, I have to sign in. Voy a tener que entrar desde acá el teléfono. Yeah. So then here is that I want to have the list of all the, your IDs, right? And all mm -hmm. your public keys. Mm -hmm. Then now I have a proposition for you. And this is good. This is really important. Okay. Um, everybody. So. Do you see a poll in your uh, set on title poll? Yeah? Uh, I have lost two. Where, where are you? Well, it's something like this. I have to send you 
I, I see it. I see the poll. You see it now, right? Let's see. I wanted to do it automatically, mm -hmm. but I don't know how to do this poll. The main thing is that we have a hundred, we have a hundred, a hundred near, all right? So as a group, we need to decide. We have three options, okay? How to divide the bounty of a hundred near for each session. That's the whole thing. So the first uh, option is to split the bounty, all right? Okay. <laughs> Between all attendance of this session, plus dance tech that is to pay the bills of dance tech. In a way, this is like what a co-op would do, all right? So a co-op would do, I, there are bills to pay that, you know, so then we have a bounty that we can split in one, two, three, four, so I think plus yen, it will be seven parts, all right? Something like that. That's one option. The other option would be 10 near per attendance today plus dance tech. And if someone shows up, let's say on Wednesday that are gonna have a session to catch up, all right, like if, for reviewing, uh, if someone shows up, that person also gets something of the bounty, okay? And the other option is 10 near per attendance today and 10 years for the stack funds. That would be the, that easy one, right? <laughs> so meaning that what was in the budget for 10 people was, you know, exactly 10 near for each of you. So I want us to vote for the first one, for the last one, starting for the last one, all right? Let's just start. What would you think that 10 near per attendance today plus 10 for the stack is so it will be the way of going to share, to divide those 100 near? I, oh, pardon, no <laughs> entendí nada. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, no, that, this is really good. You know, the, the main thing is that I want to, propose that we have, tenemos 100, tenemos 100 nears, okay? Mm -hmm. Y de esos 100 nears, que serían, son mil dólares, okay? Uy. Prácticamente, <laughs> sí. Entonces, eh, los dividimos, mm -hmm. okay? 10 para cada uno de los atendientes a los que están hoy, mm -hmm. más 10 para Dance Tech, okay? Mm. Eso sería una manera de hacerlo. ¿Okay? La otra manera de hacerlo es que así tú no hayas, alguien no haya venido hoy, se, se viene, ¿cómo se dice? Hacemos una lección de re, revisar cosas el miércoles. Como yo tengo tres personas que me dijeron que no pueden venir, pero que van a venir el miércoles. La, idea, la pregunta es, ¿creen ustedes o creemos nosotros que estas personas también van a recibir 10 niers? Okay. Y la otra opción es que <laughs> sencillamente se agarran esos 100 years, <laughs> right? Y se dividen igual, igual, igualitariamente, igualitariamente en las personas que atendieron hoy más el dance tech. Okay. All right. ¿Puedo Entonces, preguntar por qué, por qué tenemos... ¿O oh, por qué tienes tú uh, 100 uh -huh. días? Ajá, entonces la pregunta es, eh, porque entonces es el financiamiento de estos talleres viene de la blockchain year. Ah, okay. esa es la idea. Right. Okay. Que, que es lo que yo le estaba tratando de explicar, que entonces ahorita lo interesantísimo de estos procesos es que tú puedes conectarte directamente con uno de estas blockchain. Y entonces la idea es que nosotros podamos directamente mm. eh, tener la experiencia de una economía diferente. Mm. ¿Okay? Entonces realmente eh, nos están pagando para aprender. <risa> All right? mm -hmm. All right. Entonces en vez de lo contrario. ¿Okay? Yes. Entonces, y ni siquiera es un pago, es sencillamente una... Uh, lo llaman, eso puede ser un bounty, entonces yo lo que hice fue, yo apliqué un bounty, ellos me dieron uh, con un presupuesto, yo lo presenté, y entonces me dicen, bueno, son 520 
algo así. Entonces, en cada sesión que ustedes vengan, lo que se puede repartir las cochinas, como dicen en Venezuela, entre los, las partes que están presentes, ¿ok? O sencillamente se, que se deja 10 mier cada uh -huh. uno y lo que quede de eso lo pasamos a Dance Tech. O sea, yo tengo 100 mier sí. para esta sesión. Uh -huh. right? Perfecto. Entonces, es, depende de nosotros qué es lo que vamos a hacer. Okay. Uh -huh. a, a mí, a mí, se, si el voto es, puede ser público, ¿no? Sí, es totalmente público. Okay. Es que okay. Lo que okay. estamos entrenándonos un poco para okay. la parte de co okay. a, a, mí, a mí, si tú tienes otra gente que iba a venir y estás esperando, me parece justo que, que se le reserve uh -huh. algo siempre y cuando aparezcan, ¿no? Me parece. ¿no? Exacto. Si no aparece, Entonces, pero... a cada, lo que estás diciendo es, es que es si, la persona, si la persona atiende a una, a una sesión, a cualquier sesión, sean estas sesiones de grupo o las sesiones de recuperación, que es los miércoles, tiene su, su cuota de incentivo, se le puede llamar. ¿Sí? ¿Qué creen ustedes? Los... Para mí es que decides tú <risa> totalmente. ¿No? ¿No? no. Bueno. Es que esto es sencillamente parte del, okay. de lo que estamos tratando de aprender. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, ¿qué es lo que vamos a decir que es buenísimo? que van a haber fondos que van a ir a la DAO, a la Decentralized, porque uh -huh. en las próximas sesiones uh -huh. yo les voy a compartir con ustedes cómo todos podemos hacer los miembros de este DAO y podemos votar automáticamente a través de un contract, y ¡shup! el dinero va directamente a las wallets, en uh -huh. vez de yo hacerlo manualmente. ¿okay? Uh -huh. Y ese es el, el cambio uh -huh. más grande, el, uh -huh. el, la utilización uh -huh. de Decentralized Autonomous Organization. Entonces nosotros podemos hacer este voto, vamos a suponer, Víctor está proponiendo que uh -huh. todas las personas que atiendan con un límite de 10, porque hay un presupuesto limitado, okay, uh -huh. right, se les dé la 10 uh, uh, euros, 10 near, ¿ok? Para cada de uno. De acuerdo, de acuerdo con Víctor. ¿Quiénes están de acuerdo? Eh, ah, yo. Cool. <risa> que no te veo. <risa> no me veo. Okay. So, porque... Entonces fíjate. Qué bien, entonces hay, como esto está grabado, queda definido que así llega Eric, que vive en Alemania, y Lenara y esto, dijeron que venían el miércoles. Entonces, eso van a estar parte del presupuesto. Por ejemplo, Jan also va a recibir eh, sus 10 near. Entonces, cuando ustedes tengan eso en sus wallets, and this is the beauty of it, because then we can feel Who do I want to share this with? Mm -hmm. <laughs> ¿Quién, ¿Quién yo quiero compartir esto de este mismo grupo? Y todas las wallets van a estar allí. ¿Ok? Entonces tú dices, bueno, a mí como me gustó lo que eh, Jen dijo, bla, 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 bla. Entonces, it's up to you. ¿Ok? Si ustedes consideran que el Dance Tech es una maravilla y que, well, you know, que Dance Tech, no podemos vivir sin Dance Tech, entonces, quiero donar más por antes, pum, mandan a la de Marlo, que la voy a poner ahí. ¿Ok? Entonces, y a, ahí es donde empezamos a sentir how value emerges. ¿All right? Uh -huh. Entonces, lo que estamos tratando es que crear una pequeña economía local utilizando otra moneda, que no es el dólar, ¿ok? Ni el bolívar, ni los pesos, etc. Y, 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 y al mismo tiempo, ni el euro, y entonces ver cómo podemos progresivamente crear una moneda nueva. Entonces es, that's the motion token. That is what I would like to kind of go. Entonces, anyway, mm. entonces podemos mm -hmm. dejarlo aquí. Okay. okay. So the untitled poll now, I choose the second one. That's the one that we, we were talking? Or not? Tell me again. Tengo aquí la de Marian. Marian Carranza, tengo la de Víctor. Eh, ¿Sabes dónde postear esto, Ale, Alex y Reina? No. Ok. Uh, Víctor puso en el chat. No, yeah, ajá, I, ajá, dale. I see a votation on title poll. Ah, bueno, well, eso era, fíjate, eso era lo que íbamos a votar, pero yo no sabía cómo se accesaba eso. Ah, eh, ya votamos. En el chat. Ya, ya votamos. Ya puse oh, en el okay. chat. 
Hay un link, un link, uh, un enlace largote. But so this untitled poll is not working anymore. It's not valid. You're not ¿Qué? using that. ¿Quién te dice? El untitled poll, que me salió aquí una, una ventana con un untitled poll. Ajá. Uh -huh. Eso no lo estás usando. No. Ah, oh, bueno, ok. Porque tenías tres opciones, que son las tres opciones que estabas diciendo. La no, no, el, el diálogo no lo vamos a usar. Esas son las opciones que realmente teníamos que pensar, pero eran demasiado complejas. All right. uh, <ríe> Entonces, claro, la pregunta va a ser para todos. Todas las sesiones podemos decidir algo. Ok. You, we need to decide something. Ok. Eh, Tú ves este link, el enlace en el chat. Sí, lo estoy, estoy viendo ahorita. Estoy tratando de entrar en el, en el enlace. Uh -huh. Entonces, Pero, bueno, la, la idea es que, claro, esto te va a forzar a entrar a Danstec, etc. ¿no? Y, Alex, ¿tú pudiste entrar? Okay, Yo lo pude, pude entrar desde el teléfono, solo que no estoy logueado en, el, en la página, ah, okay. en el computador, pero lo he escrito en varias partes. Y yeah. creo que no, 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 no Bueno, lo que ver. puedes hacer es... Uh, envío tú también, creo. Ya, yeah, enví, envíamelo, pero la idea es tenerlos todos aquí. Voy, yo voy a esperar que todos estén acá para enviar el, lo, el, los 10 uh, NIR, ¿ok? Ok, pero do, yo tampoco, yo tampoco. O sea, ya estoy en la página, pero no sé dónde colocar... Mi... En la parte de abajo, en la parte de abajo están los comentarios... Okay. Yeah. Y entonces, Tú ves los bien? videos que dice Smart Contract, y está Futures, Futures Near. Yo veo que dice aquí está el, el uh, Q, QR Unstable, unstable Landscape dot near. Exactamente. Uh -huh. bueno, más abajo, tú sigues más abajo. y ahí puedes okay. hacer un comentario. Ya. Wow, pero no me deja. O sea, ¿cómo entro en un comentario? ¿Cómo no? Ah, pero tú estás tienes que estar en Dance... Ah, okay, yo tienes sí. que estar en parte, metida en Dance Tech. Bueno, yo Aquí. estoy allí, estoy adentro. ¿Tú ves esto? Ya estoy va. compartiendo la pantalla. No, eso no lo veo. Pues madre. <risa> <risa> no, perdón, pensé que estaba por eso. <risa> good. Ya. Entonces, en algo así, como acá. Desde la página principal, ¿cómo llegaría ya? Ajá. Anda a grupos. A grupos, sí. Ah, fíjate, entonces debe ver algo así. Sí. Después, en el mismo, te metes en el feature groups. Y después de Feature Groups, baja la sesión 1. Ahí. ¿Ah? La sesión 1 ahí está. Ahí mismo, en la ahí, sesión 1. Ahí. Session 1. Click here. Y entonces, este es el material de toda la sesión de hoy. ¿Ok? Y entonces, aquí al final, escribe ya, 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 Okay. ¿Lo ves, Alex? Sí, el rey. Ya lo hizo, ya está, está lento mi computador, pero voy en camino. Yeah. Ok. <ríe> sí, disculpa, mi lap, yo soy una laptop y también Ajá. está súper lenta. Super ok. Lenta. Entonces, cualquier cosa, eh, uh -huh. me pueden comunicar, se comunican conmigo por Facebook y me lo puedes mandar. Pero la idea es que lo pongan aquí para que hagamos el ejercicio de. Claro. ver si podemos enviarnos unos al otro o lo que ustedes quieran, ¿ok? okay. Bueno, yo os abandono ahora, me tengo que okay. Bueno, muchas gracias. Gracias, gracias. gracias a vosotros, hasta la próxima. Ya, déjame eh, oh. terminar de compartir eh, y bueno, déjame ver dónde ¿Algo está más la, importante? La... Ya, no, hasta ahora todo bien. Entonces... <ríe> Bueno, muchas gracias. Nos vemos entonces el, el domingo que viene. Muchas Absolutamente. <risa> hasta. Okay, hasta luego. Hasta luego. Chao. Hasta luego, que estén bien. Chao. Ahí ya lo voy a decir.